going on, good people? Welcome back to Cooking Up with Chris. So, let's make us some steak nachos. So, we're going to start here with the steak. I got some bottom round steaks, some little inexpensive steaks. And what I'm going to do here, get these babies out. I used one for some steak and eggs this morning, but this is what I have left. I'm going to put it on the top. So, what we're going to do. First, we're going to start by cutting this into some strips. I'm not going to do any big chunks. Big chunks will look fancy, but it's steak. Steak is not easily chewed. So it don't matter, guys. Let me get rid of this guy. I just want to hear his name voice on the video. What? All right, so once you get your strips, we're just going to cut it into some smaller cubes. These aren't no, these ain't no baby cubes. They're super tiny. Because if they're super tiny, they'll cook fast and you end up eating a bunch of crispy pieces of meat. So we got these nice size cubes like this. So it won't take long to cook, but they'll have good meaty insides. All right, I got my meat cubed up. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the skillet on. Some medium high heat. Get some oil down in there. Today, I'm getting ready to sell my all purpose seasoning. So, I'm, this week I'm using it on everything. So, we're going to get it over on this steak. Get it a little mix. And though it has salt in it, it's not an over, overwhelming amount of salt in it. We're going to give it a little more dusting. Mix that again. And now we wait on our skillet to get hot. Alright, we got our skillet heated up now. We're just gonna get our meat over in there. We're gonna get all this browned up. And it's okay if you overcrowd the skillet a little bit, because that moisture is gonna help it keep from burning and getting crispy. Spread it out, make sure everything is getting brown. And we'll clean this cutting board and come back. While steak is over here cooking down, if you don't have my all-purpose seasoning, which you can order online, you can uh, just use some salt, pepper, garlic, maybe a little basil to keep it simple for you. But I'm going to come over here with these tomatoes. Of course, you got a whole tomato. That's fine. I'm using these smaller cherries out of my wife's garden. Just going to dice these up a little bit. Now we're going to get some jalapenos out of this jar. Same process. Just going to cut these up a little bit. Get them mixed in with our tomatoes. Nothing's done. Going to get this out into a bowl. Now we taste our meat. Mmm. Got some good flavor. So I'm just going to get a little bit more. Mix that in. So they did lose some of the seasoning and juices as it cooked off and I poured the liquid out. So get that little mix in. And the meat is done. Get that out. Rinse this out and get it ready for the next thing. Now I would have ate it raw, but my wife is not the biggest fan of raw onion on cooked meals, so I'm just gonna dice this up some onions. Over here in our pan. 
Skillet like our oil is ready. Skillet was already hot. We just gonna get about half of this onion over in here. Keep this fresh for myself. Now for the cheese, I love some Rico's canned cheese. Love this stuff. I'm go down with a layer of chips. Spoon over some of this lovely Rico cheese. Get on top of that cheese with this beautiful meat. Some more cheese on top of that. Let me go down with some of these yellow onions, fresh yellow onions. Let me hit it with these tomatoes and jalapenos. And why not? Give it a little more meat. And we're just gonna go with a little sour cream over top. Hi, yeah. And voila, you got your steak nachos. So y'all get in the kitchen, y'all get to try them. But most of all, enjoy that. Oh yeah.